This is uh, Theo here. Say I'm going to use um, some JavaScript code to sort of find out how we can access the query string or the URL that the user enters into the browser. And in doing so, we're going to search this um, URL and uh, basically we're going to grant them access or we are not going to grant them access depending on their user level. So um, yeah guys, let's let's try this out. Let's try and simulate this. So in order to get the URL up here, we're just gonna say var URL equals window dot location dot href. And just to show you guys what the URL actually is, it's gonna be null.jsband.com slash runner. Um, so let's just wrap this in a function actually. Function get URL, and this is just going to be so we call it. It's just going to return. It should. Let me see. Log it out. Should log us that. Um, and we'll just set up a very basic counter. So say bar counter equals zero. Every time we're in here, we're going to increment it. So if the counter is equal by two, gives us zero. So if it's even, we're just going to return this plus. Um, actually, let's just wrap it. Query string. Eight. Query string. Otherwise, we can just uh, Otherwise, we'll say our query string window application dot plus user level equals uh, equals one, and we'll return the query string. There you have it. So now if we call this function again, yeah, user level one, user level one and eight. So now if we run this. Okay. And then and then we will say um, after that's run, we want to call another function, which is gonna do uh, See where this ends. This is semicolon. Right. And then we'll just call another function. Grant access. And this will just take in a query string. And we will search this. Say if um, query string dot search user level but eight does not return a negative one which means it's found so you have been granted access else we say console.log you are not granted access. So now if we run this get URL function, and we pass grant access query string, and we say grant 
access string. So we have this we have this closure right here. Sorry for the hiccups, guys. Um, query string is already defined. Well, that's okay. We can just do that. Let's say do this. This stuff. This stuff. Sorry. This stuff. Query string. So the first time we run it, get URL. You're not granted access, but if we run it again, it'll say you haven't granted access. So guys, just basic video about how to actually access this URL, which is in here. And uh, let's, let's try something else. Let's just try, uh, let's just try this. Let's do function, function and uh, let's try change the URL. We'll say window dot location dot href equals www dot changing your URL dot com. And if we run change URL, let's see what actually happens. Window dot location dot href. Window dot location. Maybe it's just that. Dot place. I guess it's probably got some security things on it. It's not letting me change it, but I was just trying to experiment and see if we could actually grab this URL and change it. Oh, but I'll have to look into that for you guys and let you know how that works. Otherwise, uh, this is a pretty good tutorial for, you know, grabbing that URL and uh, sort of seeing how, how you can give the user access depending on their user level and the simple counter and then the closure right here. So let me know if you have if you guys have any questions. Sorry about the hiccups again. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, give me some feedback, and see you guys in the next video. Take care.